Namaste Leo, this is Tefnut Light with your July 2015 forecast. I hope you're doing really well. I have moved and I thank you for your patience. So I'm in a new house right now and I hope you guys can hear me okay. I had to switch it over as it was a little noisy outside. Anyways, I'm really happy to be back doing videos for you guys. If you haven't checked out my update video, I do have an update video and I will be having an event on the new moon in um, cancer. We just had a full moon recently in Capricorn and there's been some interesting shifts for many of us and we're still in the beautiful cancer vibration and I'm bringing you into my new home and the cozy space. In Bali it's a really beautiful castle where I live. I call it the castle. It's a cottage castle. So this month I'm going to be doing something a little differently. I'm going to pull a card for the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, and the end of the month. This is the Druid Craft deck and it's a beautiful deck. So let's see what's in store for you, beautiful Leo. You still have beautiful Jupiter in your sign to the end of August of this year. So take advantage of that, beautiful Leo. You are shining very brightly. So, and I hope all is well. I'm sending you love and light. Let's get started into your monthly forecast. So, and the first card. For Leo, July 2015. This is the card that wants to come up. Okay, interesting. So there's a man here, and there's three, so to say, options. It's the three of wands. There's three things you want to focus on in your life right now that are very important to you, especially as Jupiter is still in your sign. And you want to take the time to really nurture those seeds, so to say, because there's a lot of growth happening right now in your cycle and your life, whether you be Leo rising, Leo sun, or Leo moon. And I feel it's really about focusing on those three things in your life right now and really seeing the bigger picture for it. It's like putting your seeds and your energies into those, those three trees and making them grow really strong. So any actions you can write down and start doing to make this really happen is really important right now. It could be a project, it could be one project, but there's three things you need to do. There's three people involved maybe, or there's three actions you need to do. So really seeing the big picture, the path that's going to unfold, and there's going to be many, many more trees that grow from this and spread throughout the world. So it could be that you go on a journey through this project you're doing either now or later on and it's going to be really really big for you in your life so to say the next year I want to say as we will be entering your sign at the end of this month it could also have to do just a long life path that's something for you is really going to shift bigly and broadly about actions so it has to do with your finances for sure but it has to do how you grow and how you make things and how you achieve things and you are a great achiever i really know that being a leo rising all right let's get into the middle of the month and see what's in store for you for july and that is a really good card to get so really focus on growing and growing from yourself growing your projects growing everything that you're focusing on right now especially those three things that are most important to you and make three things three actions daily to make them happen and grow even further along your path and that will help you transform and grow and expand because jupiter is all about expansion so expand leo all right Middle of the month for July 2015, the sign Leo. What do the spirits want to tell us for you? This is the card that wants to come up. Okay, Ace of Pentacles. It is reverse, but it's not a bad thing. So it's like you're coming out of your cave. So, so, so to say you're coming out of your cave and then so to say, this should be in, so to say, the, the sky, but it's actually the other way around. I'm seeing it, it's like we have earth element, this is earth element, and we have sky element. So there's a balance between spirit and earth right now that you're bringing down to the world. Coming out of your cave, expressing yourself, shining like a star, and making your abundance in the world, and expanding up beyond that. So it's really got coming out of your cave from this big like hibernation you might have been through. You are a Leo. Lions like to hibernate too. So the star has to do with spirit. 
but it is an earthly spirit and earthly spirituality that you're bringing down to the ground. That is what I'm really feeling. So you're bringing spirit, so to say, the earth. Earth and spirit are connecting for you. It's a spiritual endeavor. It is a spiritual journey for you right now. And it has to do, sorry about the glare. It has to do with coming out of that cave and shining and being that bright star and making the abundance really start to grow for you even more because Jupiter has been giving you little tests here and there throughout this whole year of Jupiter in your sign. It's almost been a whole year, so you have like a month left of really, um, more than a month, sorry, of really focusing on those things, those those big, big, really important things for you. And I feel like bears and lions are so much like each other. It is a really good symbol, totem animal. It's kind of of the home and cancer is very homey. So if you're staying too much in your home, this might be a little upside down. So you need to get out of your home more and um, mingle with people and tell them what you do and share your treasures and share your abundance and the abundance will flow even more for you. But it's a really earthed spirit, spirituality that you'll be spreading to the world and sharing this because Jupiter is all about spirit and expansion. So trust that energy, that's really beautiful. So I feel if you focus on those three things, like I said, you're going to be reaping some really awesome harvest that's gonna make your journey like expand beyond what you thought it would be. And then here, it's really about coming out of the cave with your treasure and sharing this shining star with the world and expressing that through spirituality or through your own spirit, the way you want to be, just be yourself. So, and, and aces are all about beginning. So this is the beginning of abundance for you. So let's go into the end of the month of July, the third card, and I want to see what's in store for you. Beautiful Leo and July 2015, the end of the month for Leo. Give us a beautiful message for Leo. Okay, Leo. This card, this card wants to come up. Okay, very interesting. It's the King of Cups. The King of Cups is a water sign and there is a crab. So this could have to do, you're connecting with a cancer sign or you could have cancer in your chart. Um, it is a very like well-to-do man, very noble, very wise. An older man, it could have to do that either your woman or man, you'll be connecting with someone that has that energy, or it could be a romantic person because the king of cups is a romantic, loyal, beautiful, so to say husband and father, husband or father or both. Um, could also be mothering energy, but so to say very stable, very grounded, very with the emotions and there's this little dog. It's like this dog is right behind him. So there's loyalty here and beauty and commitment. So there's a commitment you have to make or a commitment that could be coming to you either in form of a beautiful romance or a romance that grows even further or in a sort of sense a father figure or a figure that's becoming you. You're becoming this stable, dedicated man and if you are female, this could have to do with just being more active in terms of being um, financially stable because the man traditionally is about action and you have the three of wands here. This is all about action here. So there's going to be an action happening within your sector of um, actions within the workplace, actions within your path and making decisions and then coming out with your spirit and sharing your light and sh sharing your light and shedding your light upon people. And so to say, there's a new light coming in for you. And this has to do with abundance and spirit and spirituality, your own spirit, the way you see spirituality, not to do with the way others. It's about how you see it and putting it out in the world in an authentic way. And this has to do with a man. It could be a man that wants to help you. It could be an emotional connection or it could just be there's this fatherly figure that's either coming out in you or coming out in someone else. And you could be meeting this person, this person could help you, hand you this cup of the emotions, so to say. You're focusing on a lot of different aspects this month, beginning with action, the physical. The middle of the month is about physical objects, which is earth. And then the end of the month is an emotional transformation right before your birthday or around your birthday, because depending on when your birthday is, either the end of July or in August. 
So I feel like there's going to be an emotional transformation with loyalty. And it looks like this person plays music because it looks like there's a harp in the chair. So really trusting that energy, moving forward with it and trusting this person because you can trust them. And if you're unsure, don't be unsure because really trust what's within you. And cancers are very trustworthy. You just have to get to know them well and then allow them to open their shell. So and be gentle to them. So yes, that's a really good energy. And we were having a new moon in, so to say, the middle of this month. So this is a good energy. And Cancer and Leo are very good um, partners when it comes to making things happen in the action department. And they're also very loving to each other, even though their birthdays are like right next to each other. So be gentle with the Cancer and Cancer will be gentle with you. So I feel like it's a really good energy. I'm going to look at the cards again. There's a man and then there's a bear and then there's an older man. It could be a grandfather too. There's a dog and there's a bear and there's so to say the sky is opening. So there is loyalty, there is wisdom, there is nourishment and there is love and there is abundance to be had in this beautiful expansive journey that you're on right now Leo. I love you very much thank you for tuning in this month do go check out my website if you would like a personalized reading or just go check out in general it just was posted recently and I look forward to seeing you for the weekly readings they will be up very shortly and I will also be hosting that event so check out the, um, the video for that definitely subscribe if you haven't subscribed there's lots of good new things coming your way from this channel Love and light your way, and I'll see you very soon. Namaste. Mwah. Have a beautiful month.